It's bags, we're talking favorites. There's a bunch of designer items. It's gonna be a good one, trust me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa, aka Mouse Soldera here on YouTube. I have a channel where I talk about handbags, lifestyle, fashion, styling, basically anything under the fashion umbrella. So if you're into that, you should probably hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another one of my videos. With that being said, don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the thumbs up for this video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. It makes a huge difference in my channel and I greatly appreciate you guys taking the time. Today's video, we are going to be talking about my favorite designer handbags that no one is talking about. I have a big wall of handbags and every morning I look at it and I decide, what handbag will I wear today? What am I pairing it with? And I always gravitate towards, I, I feel like I have a good steady rotation of bags that I kind of reach for on the daily. And the more I kind of like deep dive on Instagram and watch YouTube videos, the more I'm realizing I'm definitely kind of doing my own thing when it comes to bags. I do fall for the trend bags once in a while. I mean, I have a Tante Montaigne bag, so duh. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is to just kind of like go on websites like at night when it's late and I'm just like watching something that I'm not really into. I'll go on like Farfetch and I'll be like all bags and then I'll start working on the filters and I'll be like lilac within this price range and I feel like I end up finding so many fun bags as opposed to just going there with a mission, you know what I mean? So today I wanted to share with you guys six of my absolute favorite bags that I found scrolling randomly, not bags that I'd ever seen on anyone, I'd never seen a review on them and they're just awesome bags that you need to know about. And basically what prompted this entire video is I just ordered two super iconic amazing bags that no one has been talking about. Literally had I not been doing my random scrolling on Farfetch, I never would have known these bags existed and how amazing they are and wait a second, how affordable they are. So we're gonna start with the two new bags and then work our way on to our favorite pieces. So I placed an order on Farfetch because I was doing exactly what I was telling you guys. I was sorting, I was looking, I'm in the spring mindset. I keep on talking to you guys, I want a lilac bag, I want a lilac bag. So I filtered, found a lilac bag, and I couldn't believe the price. And guys, when I show you this bag, you're going to freak out. It is so right now, it is so relevant to what is going on, to what the look is. It's so practical. It is literally the bag everybody needs to know about, but no influencer is getting paid to talk about it. So I am going to show it to you guys. I feel like I just really hyped this bag up and I'm a little afraid that I might've hyped it up too much and I'm the only one who's as excited about it, but whatever, I'm going there. So. I was looking for something cute, versatile, and lilac, and I wanted to spend under $1,200. That was my like rule of thumb, and I came across this bag, and I can't believe nobody has this, and I've never seen anybody with this bag. Look at this Bottega Beauty. Look at the color. Farfetch has the best stuff. Like, I'm not even lying, they have the best stuff. Oh, and I have a promo code for you guys. They renewed the promo code for this month. I'm putting the details down below. I'm going to write it here as well so you guys can have easy access to it. It's 10% off site-wide with the exception of a few brands. Um, I'll put the exceptions down below. This bag is under $1,200 minus the 10% off promo codes. So you're getting $120 off. This bag is iconic and no one knows about it. So it's like a little pouch so you can like carry it like this closed or more open. I like it just like a little bit more open just like that. And it's four ropes. So here is the versatility on this bag. This bag can be carried as a clutch. You literally just like tuck in the ropes, tuck it underneath, you're good. It's a little baby clutch. Okay, for the next way to carry it, I'm just gonna stand up because it's as a fanny pack. Let me show you. It's super cute with a jean and t-shirt look, but imagine it with a little like flouncy, silky dress for the springtime. Ah, it's such a good bag. Next off that we have the straps like this. This is how I'm going to tie it. You literally take it like this and you just poke it through. Like this. This tie is like a very 1994, the way my mom used to like shorten her leather handbag straps. My mom used to have like a like smushy old leather bag that I remember had a knot like this on top and I saw this and I was like, ugh. So check out, super cute as a shoulder bag and then look at it as a crossbody. 
How has the whole world not bought this bag yet? I don't understand that nobody's talking about this. I'm so happy I came across it. I was literally this close to spending $5,000 on that big dumpling clutch. And then I saw this and I was like, <laughs> we're going to be different. Look at this. I'm obsessed with this. So the next bag I have to show you guys, shout out to Mama Soldera on this one. My mom is a huge fan of this brand and she has been carrying this brand for ages. She's big on their clothes. She's big on their like, whenever we go on vacation, I feel like my mom always wears Etro. I don't think I ever have thought of purchasing anything Etro in a million years. Then I started working on my best bags under $500 video, which then turned into best bag under $1,000 video. And then I came across this bag and I was like, wait, what? How is this bag under $1,000? So let me show this to you. I liked it so much. I picked it up. I'm still planning on doing that best bag under $1,000 video. Um, but I'm going to sneak the bag in here that I picked up to show you guys. Again, this bag is from Farfetch. It's no surprise. Everything I buy is from Farfetch. I'm just going to show it to you guys. Is this bag not the sexiest little thing you've ever seen in your life? The leather on this bag is the like softest, smoothest leather. This is like equestrian chic. It has a strap. I have it on the shortest because obviously I like a good short crossbody. You guys know that about me, but I mean, you can see how many notches there are. You can go from like here to here. So even tall ladies out there, this is a great bag for you. It has that shoulder detail. Look, I'm going to show you guys this in close because I swear to God, I've never even heard of this bag. Thanks to my mom, Etro was put on my radar. So it just flaps open like this. That's one pocket, perfect size for an everyday bag. This alone is like, oh, this looks so expensive. This looks like if Gucci and Celine had a baby and the baby turned out incredibly cooler than both Gucci and Celine bags. Can we give a thumbs up for Etro, please? Next bag that I want to talk to you guys about, no one is talking about, but I am obsessed with, and I cannot wait to wear this for spring, is my Givenchy mini Eden bag. I bought this last year. I bought this in the summer or the spring when like I just started getting back into pastels and I was like, this is such a beautiful bag. It is mock crock and pink. I did want to go fun color with this bag, but I have seen it in classic colors, like a burgundy, a black, even chocolate brown. You guys know how I'm feeling about chocolate brown this year. This bag to me is such a great bag. And again, no one is talking about it. I get it. Soft Antigona is like a hot thing right now with Givenchy, but why is nobody going mini Eden? This bag, this shape, these little things, which a lot of you have told me you don't like the little things, but like, hi, look. I just fixed this flap thing that you guys don't like problem. This bag is so versatile. It goes top handle. It has a crossbody strap that also wears as a shoulder. It looks so expensive. It has that old school Givenchy logo. This bag is literally the epitome of like a chic madame cool girl bag. I just, I just got a flash of this in like a lilac. Can we, can we imagine? Or a moss green. Ooh, moss green would be so good. Ah, this is such a good bag. Next off, we are going to go Saint Laurent, the small Kaya bag. How does the whole world not have the small Kaya bag? I only picked this bag up last month. I have been wearing this bag on repeat. Like even days that like, they, it doesn't even match with my outfit. It is so practical that I'm like, it's not worth emptying my bag. I'm just gonna throw it on. The brushed hardware is good. The basket weave is good. The burgundy brownish color is delicious. This is such a fabulous bag. I also hacked a way to carry it as a top handle, which I kind of love even more because you guys know how I love a good top handle. This, like this, you have so many options with this bag. No one is showing this bag. 
No one is going to be surprised to see my next bag, especially if you follow me on Instagram where I show you guys my daily outfit. My mini Balenciaga, actually it's not the mini, it is smaller than the mini because the mini was a bit bigger. I will find it and link it down below for you guys, but this is the smallest version that they make this bag. I've been talking about the Balenciaga City making a comeback for over a year now, and like six months ago I decided to buy this version of the bag, and it was possibly the best decision I have ever made. This bag fits a ton. I did a what's in my bag on was it IGTV real whatever I will link it down below so you guys can see so much fits in this bag but because it's black on black the hardware is black everything about it is black this bag goes with everything I've worn this casual I've worn it dressy I've worn it with sweatpants like literally you cannot go wrong with this bag it is everything phenomenal purchase last bag I'm going to talk about this is the boy bag, the soft mini version of it, and I clearly have a thing for this color also this season. So it does have this thicker crossbody strap, which my other one didn't have. It was definitely more of a decorative bag, the other one. This one has a nice thick bag. It gives it like more meat and potatoes. It's small, it is cute. What I love even more about it, here, see how it peeks out? has that like smushy vibe as opposed to the other boy bags. The Carl 24 that I had was very, very, very stiff. This is kind of meant to kind of have that low slung staying open like your relaxed Birkin. So it fits a lot more because you have that extra like wind span on the side. Boy has been killing it lately. If you follow them on Instagram, like it is difficult for me to not buy every single bag that they make. But what I love even most about this one is it's under $500. So I picked this one up it was $495, but they often go on sale. I actually have someone who saw me on Instagram show this bag and she's like, I just got it on sale on Essence for $195. And I was like, oh man, I paid $495 for it. This is such a great bag. I bought mine directly from the Boy website. Uh, the shipping was great. I didn't have to pay duties at the door. It was top notch. This bag is beautiful, the leather is beautiful, the color is beautiful. Definitely Boy is a brand that we need to talk about more. Do we not all have this bag in our cart right now? Cause I'm kind of considering this in like a pale yellow at the moment. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this roundup. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what random bag you fell in love with that ended up being a favorite. I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, 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 so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.